I'm Purnima Jedi, working as a consultant at Art Park. And today we are glad to have with us uh, Dr. Arpita Patra, who's working as an associate professor at the Department of Computer Science and Automation. Uh, Dr. Arpita, I would uh, request you to tell something more about yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Arpita Patra. I uh, joined the Department of Computer Science and Automation at Indian Institute of Science uh, in May uh, 2014. Prior to that, I did three different postdoctorates at uh, different places, uh, Aarhus University, Denmark, then ETH Zurich, Switzerland, and lastly, University of Bristol, UK. And even prior to that, I completed my PhD from IIT Madras. Uh, that's about me. Uh, so, on the occasion of International Women's Day, I would like to ask you some questions. So, let, let me get started on that. Uh, so, coming to the first one, like, what does freedom mean to you? Yeah, um, yeah, this is a very great question, but at the same time, uh, it's a very broad one too. And uh, I can give you a philosophical answer, but I will uh, try to stick to the context. Uh, so, generally, freedom implies uh, the ability to uh, act or express freely without any constraint. So, for a free world uh, for freedom to flourish we need a lot of free and unconditioned souls around us which are not littered with prejudices right but uh, the world the society and our workplaces are steeped in plenty of prejudices so let me give you some example uh, so women are believed to be less capable or less achiever than uh, men, right? So there cannot be a bigger lie than this, but uh, such prejudices are deeply rooted and uh, far more killer and silent consequence is that the women folks, they themselves start believing less in themselves and they give up their passion in the midway. Right? Now coming to the academic circle, there are more subtle ones and I'm not going to paint any happy or rosy picture because the reality is not and I don't lie. Um, firstly, uh, women are believed to be not born leaders and the result is that despite having fantastic and uh, exceptionally accomplished women academics, the number of women who hold decision-making positions in the institutes of national importance like IACs and IIT, IITs are minuscule, right? Secondly, uh, those who speak very good English with very confident body language are taken to be better researcher or academics than those who do not, right? The quality of work takes back it. And then thirdly, there's a belief that uh, those who earn their PhD from India uh, do have slightly weaker, qualitatively they're weaker than those who aren't from abroad. Right. So these are all unfounded and I've given you a very small subset of examples from a huge pool. Yet the number of people who believe in these prejudices and they act based on these uh, are not few. I mean, that number is big. And the amount of pollution that they create in academic circle is insurmountable, right? So as a result, we have an un unfair world, unfair workplace. So for a free world, free society and free workplace, we need more free souls, right? I'm, the, the more minds that are as white as that of child, all right? So freedom to me means freeing our minds from these prejudices, from these unfounded prejudices. Freedom to me means growing and uh, letting grow everyone around us the way they deserve. So we also know that education is uh, very closely related to freedom. Like they also, it is also rightly said that education is a golden road to freedom. So coming to this, like as you mentioned, that 
now like people don't consider women as equal to that of uh, like as men so what motivated you to still stick around and you know like pursue your life let's more about that yeah so uh, i would say there is nothing magical here i like mathematics and i scored well in mathematics and uh, consequently i have chosen a science as the stream for my 12th standard and uh, i i come from a very humble background and uh, after that much like many middle class families the uh, pursuing engineering in computer science felt like a very lucrative career path mm. so i i pursued that so the real researcher is born in me during my uh, phd and since then um, research is the part and parcel of of my life and i enjoy every bit of research that i do for cryptography the science of secrets and that's the area that i work on work in but it would be lie if i say that i love only science i uh, have a great fascination for the field of archaeology and uh, history and one thing that cleanses my soul is uh, photography which which uh, it is something that i really enjoy it's very interesting hobby yeah uh, so coming to that like as we know that education is very important and every person has a right to education but you also put some light on like previously on some of the points wherein like yeah education and like, girls are not like very very much encouraged for you know giving pursuing phd's or any higher education so there's a lot of gender bias you can term it as gender bias so how have you ever faced this or uh, have you ever how do you how do you tackle this like what is your take right so personally from my family background i didn't face any discrimination but uh, gender biases during my academic year, uh, career i have faced many and even before we realize what discrimination is we we do uh, face them all right so in the initial years i did not handle them or rather i did not know how to handle them all right it felt bad simply but every time i faced su- uh, with such incidents it made me more tougher and stronger the more uh, discriminative behavior i faced the more i believed in myself so today when discrimination happens i can fight i do fight many but there are cases when we need to prioritize there are trickier ones and it needs a lot of time to fight right so whether we want to do research peacefully or we want to fight those evils sometime we need to do prioritization and uh, so for the sake of uh, the former that is we want to do science peacefully we need to postpone the fight sometimes and i do postpone but that doesn't mean that i forget i don't forget i i, I fight them in my own style in uh, due course of time and uh, lastly i believe that we live our lives uh, between these six inches not in our house or bungalows right so for the sake of keeping my mental abode clean sometimes i i just forget and forgive <laughs> yeah uh, so coming to the next part like now uh, since we uh, we know that work is nowadays pretty important in everyone's life and also we are living in such a fast paced world that we are it's difficult to balance between the work and life like some important things yeah. like family or health so how do you consider like how can a woman strike a balance between their career and life so yeah so i i want uh, i want to say one thing to everybody uh, that when uh, a woman believes in herself and decides to fight then everything follows okay now coming back to your question uh, i don't think there is anything like perfect balance sometimes it's the science and sometimes it's the family that takes the priority right so they take turn and we switch and uh, secondly i have a fantastic uh, support system around me my husband ashish and my daughter aprajita uh, extremely supportive with them life seems to be breeze and nothing seems to be impossible so they are the uh, wind beneath my wings and lastly my parents uh just to give you an idea about how strong they are couple of years ago uh, there was an incident 
uh, where discrimination seems to happen to me. I didn't get my due recognition. So of course, I was very sad. So my father asked me a simple question. Why do you do research for these recognitions? So I was stumped. Right? I thought for a while and the answer was clear no. Then my father said, then why are you sad? Go back to your work. So these are the kind of people I have around me. How can I fail them? How can I let them, t let them down? I have to be strong and I know I am. Yeah, that's the important, like having a good support system. Uh, Very important. And, yeah. So yeah, I think I just wanted to let you know your thoughts about some of these questions and thank you. Thanks a lot for your precious time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for